Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, no one could call on there. Mr. Harlow, yes, sir. There you are, Mr. Hello? Yes, Bryce. I'm, I'm afraid I'm a little impotent to call you, but I wanted to, uh, and I very much appreciate your courtesy and letting, letting me talk. I was talking with Mr. Nixon this afternoon. He told me of your call, and he was quite troubled over it. And I told him that, uh, that you had told me the other evening to call you whenever I felt like it. And I thought I would do that. Uh, he was concerned whether or not uh, it was being construed that he had indicated he had a veto right over your actions for the balance of your term. And he did not say that. And I was very fearful that the press was trying to read it this way. And had so reported to you. And I was present when he had his press conference. And he very specifically did not say that, and said exactly the opposite. And I wanted to make sure that that uh, was understood by you, because he is trying to play the game, I think, exactly the way you want to play it. Uh, I, I uh, was bothered because we did not get the transcript, and they would like to divide us any way they can. Well, they we were. could not see what he said. But the phrase that gave us trouble was... Not that he was sending Murphy as an observer, which he had stated to me in the telephone call, but that uh, uh, before we would take action, it would be necessary to have approval. Now, that language is given in the tonight uh, in his television statement. Uh, I saw it on ABC at 7 o'clock. It very definitely connotes an agreement between us that A, not only calls for an observer, B, uh, uh, a consultation, but C, approval. Uh, no veto. That wasn't as clear. He made that very clear yesterday, but it's a little inconsistent. Let me, let me read you this statement. Would you clarify a point on the need for agreement on the course of action? Are you saying that the president will not take a course of action unless you have approved of it? Nixon, we did not discuss it that precisely. So he handles it that well there. But then he goes on a little longer and he says, do you think of dealing with the ABMs, which Johnson's anxious to initiate, is that also included in this arrangement? Now bear in mind, Bryce, we, Bryce, we've had no arrangement. Yes, we did. just ask a man to come here and follow it, that's all. There's no arrangement, there's no deal, there's no secret, there's no contract. Then the Nixon replies, is that also included in the whole arrangement? Nixon said, yes, anything, any subject, in the whole general field of foreign policy will be within Ambassador Murphy's assignment. Now, that's all right up to that point. And, of course, as far as any decision on that is concerned, like obviously any arrangement of the Soviet Union, it would be essential that there be prior consultation and prior agreement. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I see your, I see your concern. 